Hi, did you know since I got back from Dayton in May 2017, that means we're in October right now, I didn't finish reviewing all the stuff that I got over there. That's the case of this little portable mobile shack tuner. Okay, let me explain why. I don't know how to qualify it. And this is the MFJ904H. In the beginning, I was looking for a small tuner for my QRP, my ELAD FDM Duo. And this tuner is good up to 300 watts. So you can use it in the shack. And it has a lamp. You will see that later on. It's me that I, I just put some uh, stuff here just in case it won't scratch the other equipment with a screw. So I do that. Okay, so that's not coming with it. Um, it has, well, the antenna connector, the transmitter, power connector for the light, okay? Bypass and tune switch. So if you want to use it as a power meter, SWR meter, you can, or you can go into the tuner. You have a balance line in the back. So if you want to use a balance line, that's a portable or whatever. And you have the ground connector if you want to have a contrapoise or something like that, okay? Or just grounding the device. It's very small, it's very light, and I went for this one because it can be used, like I said, in the shack. It's very versatile, it's small enough to be portable and mobile, and it does a very good job. So let me uh, show you and demonstrate how this thing works. Presently, the tuner is in bypass mode, and I'm on the 80 meter dipole, and my uh, analyzer is at 3.765 megahertz. I just switched to my 10, 15, 20 meter Yagi. And as you can see, the sending wave was pretty high. And then I switch into the tuning mode. So the first thing you need to do with a manual tuner is find the inductance and then try to tune the transmitter and the antenna back and forth. Uh, usually you can start at zero for both of them or at five in the middle. And when you select the inductance, you will gonna see the SWR change. So you need to be at the lowest as possible, and it's possible while tuning that you need to change the inductance again. So this is the lowest point, so I'm gonna try to tune. The first time uh, you use a manual tuner, uh, you will find that taking note of the frequency, if you wanna use an antenna with the tuner, and you can actually take note where to put the uh, antenna and transmitter uh, and the inductor so for each frequency so you have a starting point you go very uh, very much faster uh, to switch uh, between uh, between band using a tuner a manual tuner as you can see is the first time i try to do that this is not a good thing to use <laughs> this antenna on 80 meter but it's just showing you that i can actually tune it with this little tuner so as you're gonna see, it is quite good. It's gonna end up very good in SWR, very low. And that's it. So this concludes this video. I hope you did enjoy. And uh, stay tuned for more, as more is coming. And uh, catch you some other time. 73.